First of all, I want to thank you for clicking on us and getting this video in hand so you'll understand something uh, about iodine, about iodine. When I look at some special stat keepers for the web, we find that there's over a million people every month uh, trying to find out more about iodine. And I'm thinking, so what's to learn? I mean, it used to be something you put on a cut or I've heard about it, but Oh, we get it in our salt, forget about it, because that's what we doctors were told, etc. So let me see if I can't get you to appreciate that iodine's just about as important as oxygen. Oxygen to your body, and I, I really mean it. It's one of the key ingredients. Now, yes, there's water and there's air, and there's sodium and potassium, and there's magnesium, and there's this little mentioned little critter called iodine, and everybody says this is going to be you know, it's going to be the new wonder medicine for, uh, for people interested in good health. No doubt you are, so let's get started. Iodine is a member of one of the uh, periodic table called halogens, and this stuff occurs in nature in very small amounts. In fact, worldwide it's very hard to get a hold of it. So, you know, I usually I start out videos like this telling people, you know, about all the abuse in this country about there not being enough iodine because it's taken out of our food, etc. Well, it turns out there's just not that much available. But in those countries that have it, you find very little goiter. That's a big, big swelling at the base of your neck. And this is Japan for the most part because they eat seaweed. And that seaweed's got a lot of iodine. Yeah. Next, they don't have much breast cancer. And you go, whoa. Iodine is tied to that? Yes, it is. I'm going to use a fancy word. Here comes one. It's called organification. That simply means you take the iodine and you hook it to an organic molecule. Okay, so we'll just call it like marrying iodine to something that works in your body, hooked up to an organic substance. When you have all those things, you have something that commands the immune system. You have something that will go into your DNA and make sure that it operates in a very orderly fashion because when your DNA mutates that equals cancer. When your DNA mutates and it's not being guided by a substance that has iodine in it, it's not being guided, it mutates, it turns into the big C, the word you hate, the word we fear. Cancer, your immune system. Not only that, it works as a nice antiseptic in your body. When your body needs to kill some germs, etc., it will release them. Next, one of the glands that is basically the center of all of your hormone activity in your body, your estrogen, your progesterone, your testosterone, your lactones, and all the rest of this other stuff is thyroid. It is the key ingredient. And when you don't have enough iodine, you get a goiter. Now, that's a big swelling at the base of your neck. Well, so what? It looks a little lumpy. Okay? Now, that's what gets biopsied. That's cost millions and millions of dollars a year because somebody's got a goiter and, oh, by the way, it might, it might be a cancer. Well, I don't want to make too much fun of that, but at the same time, it's rarely a cancer. Rarely a cancer. And it won't turn into a cancer because if you had enough iodine, it wouldn't turn into cancer. How do I know that? <laughs> well, the Japanese were bombed, remember? And it was an atomic weapon, and I lived very, next to, very close to Hiroshima, and they studied those people for years. And those people that got radiated got thyroid cancer big time and other thyroid problems. But those people that were eating a lot of seaweed and something called miso, which had an awful lot of iodine in it. You think maybe you get the idea that this stuff presents cancer and that I don't have to have it approved by 10 deans of medical schools or the other three-letter agencies that we seem to have an abundance of, along with all the other cynics and doubters that are out there, because that's how you <laughs> can be scientific, is you doubt everything that comes along. So I'm hoping you'll accept the fact that iodine plays a pretty big role in keeping you from getting cancer. Because those countries that have enough of it don't have much breast cancer. Uh, 
I guess they don't have those 26 mile runs and pink ribbons and all the harvest of misery. All right, as they get enough iodine. Starting to sound interested, now you know why you're here, why you want to know more about iodine. At the same time, you can't sleep, you have constipation. Your hair is thin, your nails are thin. You have a disease called Hashimoto's thyroiditis and you're up and down all over. We've got 55 million people in this country who are low thyroid, okay? Now, before you go and get tested, <laughs> before you go and get tested, because iodine plays a part here, get yourself on some iodine first. It's easy. It's not a medication. And you, uh, yeah, if you get the stuff from us, we give you this little protocol on how to do it, how to build the dose, because you can get you know, thyrotoxic, I should take that back, you can get toxic from the iodine you're taking if you take too much too soon, especially if your body's crying for it, and it is, all right? So once you get your thyroid back up and going because you've gotten enough iodine, and by the way, I happen to believe, why wait? Get the, get the uh, thyroid, give people thyroid until all this stuff gets back into normal thing. And I've talked to you before about a product that we call Thyropack. That is something that I have found that I have been able, yeah, we labeled it and we, we own it, so there is a commercial dimension to what I'm saying, but at the same time, folks, this stuff has been able to be used in my patients instead of prescription grade thyroid, and it comes across the counter. And you don't have to have the blood tests, you don't have to have a doctor to try it yourself. Your doctor can supervise your doing it, and I recommend that he does. I really do, first of all, because you will probably show him that you can get better by understanding the principles of iodine metabolism and then helping out with something called thyro thyropack, okay? Now, with all the other good things that we've said about iodine, let me tell you that there are some bad things going in the body that iodine will correct. There are three real bad brothers in the family with iodine. This is fluoride. It has to be in your city water because of some stupid seventh grade science. <clears throat> you want to argue with me? Google fluoride and you'll see why we use it. Okay, really bad, really toxic. That will go in and replace the iodine in your thyroid which is how we used to kill thyroids back in 1917, 1914, etc. We brought you this little Dixie cup with some fluoride in it and then we put you in a hospital because bad things are going to happen to you. That's how we killed your overactive thyroid. Well, we don't do that now. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Except you don't take your dose of fluoride one night. You take it over seven years. And that goes in there and it ties up your thyroid gland. Now it does worse things than that because you have high association of bone cancer and a bunch of other things with it. But at the same time, it buggers up your thyroid test because the T3 in your bloodstream, which is the active ingredient that doctors are looking at, is probably tied up with fluoride. So even though it's in there and your doctor's going, there, there now, Nelda, You've got enough T3 and your thyroid studies are fine. Go along now and see your psychologist. Go along and see your immunologist. Go see the person who treats your arthritis. Go see your stomach doctor. Go see on and on and on. <laughs> you know, 40 or 50 dollars worth of iodine and some good thyroid every month would take care of all of that because he doesn't know, but you do. This is all very, very interesting information. Now you know that that fluoride, and it's in the city water and in your toothpaste and in the hands of your dentist, he's filling you with that every time you get around that stuff. Hmm, and boy, do we want a water machine that'll take fluoride out. Stick with me, there's something called Dream Tree Water Systems, Dream Tree Water Systems, that strips out the fluoride. Oh, stay. <clears throat> now there's something called chlorine. Chlorine does the same thing. It marries up with the active thyroid in your body and cripples it so it can't work. 
Your doctor can measure it and tell you that you're fine, but it can't work. How's that? Huh. And then you've got a TSH. Last time I checked, they were about $200 a copy, and they're being used, hmm, they're being used to tell you that you're fine. Because if they're in the proper range, because you appear to have enough T3 in your body, then it's all wrong because that T3 isn't working. It's being poisoned by the fluoride and by the chlorine, and now comes another bad actor called bromine. There is no need for bromine in the body anywhere. A Dr. Brownstein, who is like Dr. Iodine, he and Dr. Abrams have done an awful lot of work, and I'll talk about him in a minute, have shown that this bromine and all the research they've done, the bromine <clears throat> actually goes in there and castrates the thyroid again and ruins the blood test so you can't depend on it and the disease can't be found okay and it's in things I hate to name the brand names because it's so darn true it will destroy yeah could destroy me etc but they've got it in everything it's being used as something to keep the bugs out of your food the bromine all right so now I think you should understand iodine a whole lot better and the fact that this stuff is kind of short, all right? Next, let's go to Dr. Brownstein because you're wondering, am I low in thyroid? <clears throat> in his magnificent work, he uses a 24-hour test to see if your body's low in thyroid. And you can get one of these, okay? You can Google iodine and find stuff about that test. But I'm going to cost, it. it's $119, okay? And then some doctor has to be in train to go along with this. But because Dr. Brownstein did 6,000 patients over a number of years and found 96% of them low iodine, I think it's pretty safe for me to say that you're an odds-on favorite of being low thyroid. Still want the test? Well, you know, knock yourself out. But no, I don't think you need the test. <clears throat> <clears throat> but you can start giving yourself iodine, and there are some safeguards because you get sort of a metallic taste in your mouth. You get sort of a salivation, and some people their acne starts to break out. Very, very small number, and it all goes away if you just cut back on the dose of iodine. You'll go down, and it'll go away. Sometimes your body is so hungry for iodine that giving iodine releases the bromine that's tied up in there and that makes you sick. The same rule applies. Drop back on your iodine for a while because you're not allergic to iodine, which to me is the sophomore's way out of explaining, well, dear, you just shouldn't take iodine. It makes you sick. That's baloney. You don't feel good because you're releasing bromine into your system. Not only that, your body's crying for that iodine to get going and start cleaning itself out. Okay, last point. <clears throat> last point. There are kinds of iodine out there that you don't want to take. And you got to know that you're not getting enough when you buy iodized salt. And you don't want to take that one because there's micro amounts in there. Micrograms. And that stuff is just enough to keep you having goiters keep you from having the goiters, okay? But it doesn't do anything about your hormones, about your thyroid. It doesn't protect you from cancer. It doesn't do all the antiseptic stuff. You don't have enough to go around, so your body's crying for the stuff all the time. Next, you want to get a good grade of iodine. And I've discovered a fellow that makes a detoxified form of iodine because the regular stuff which they call iodorol or lugols. It's, I mean, everybody knows about it, whatever. And it's not very expensive. But if you get the good stuff, it has been detoxified because that stuff has got what they call tricyclic iodine. All that means is, is it's got three molecules of chlorine on it, and you don't want that because your body has to spend a lot of time and energy straightening that up. So if you get the pure detoxified iodine, yeah, it comes a little bottle like this, and I'll send you all the instructions on how to get this into your body, how often to take it, how to back down the dose, and establish your dose for you. Now, I think you understand why iodine is so important. You need to get some.